Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to make a working experience bar and uh, level up. So when we kill enough mummies, and if you realize I duplicated our mummies, you see when we kill one mummy, we get some experience. And if we kill enough, we are going to level up. So we went up to level two. And the good thing about this experience system I've made is that every time you level up, you will need more experience to reach the next level. I will show you what I did. And if you have any questions, remember that you can ask me in the comments. Okay, so I started by making some variables. You see, I have a level, which is a private integer. I have the level text we see which is just a reference to the text of our level because we will be wanting to update every time update this text every time we level up and also i made a the experience variable that we used to have i made it a private set and public get and i will explain more about this in a minute and finally i made a transform variable called experience bar which is just a reference to the experience bar here okay so i also remember that we need to set using unity engine.ui because we're going to be using text and the image component which comes from the unity engine ui library i renamed the function get experience it used to be called get experience i rename it to set experience and remember to use your F2 function to rename this method so that it will change the name of all the instances of this method because we used to call this function here in the enemy controller when the enemy dies it gives us gives us some experience so we want to change that name there as well so now that I have this new set experience function this is the only way I'm going to change the amount of experience I have so with this I can make sure that every time the experience changes I'm going to update the UI so what we do same as before we add the experience that we have in the parameter then I you see there is two variables here and I'm going to talk about these two in a minute so just wait, wait a moment for the level apart we just check if the experience is greater than the experience needed and the experience needed is just how much experience we need to go to the next level and this comes from a formula okay I will show you that later if we have more than the experience needed we're going to level up and of course we're going to reset the amount of experience needed and in level up is simple we just increase our level by one and the level text dot text gets updated by level and the level the actual level that we have um, made into a string so how can we find this level text and the experience bar which is um, here experience bar if you find if you see here the experience bar I find the fill and I get the component image and I just adjust the amount with this formula which I will explain also in a bit so please bear with me so that's basically what I did in the set experience and how I got those on I got experience bar and level text on start so actually I did quite a lot of things basically what I did here was that I have a UI controller this one and this UI controller is just a simple class it has a instance a public static instance of itself and you can I'm sorry I just realized I didn't increase the size of my text I will increase it now and hopefully you can copy so uh, we have the instance of this class and if the instance haven't been set this means the instance is null. we will set the instance to this class so we have a public static class of UI controller and I have attached this class to our canvas the canvas we created on the last episode so that 
I can have a reference to its transform. So that's how I get the UI controller and then I get the instance, the transform of that instance. And then in that transform, I will find background slash experience, which is canvas, background, and then experience. So that will be my experience bar transform. And also I do the same for the level text. So I just get UI controller instance transform. So I'm actually just referring to the canvas. And in the canvas, I find level underscore text here, background slash level underscore text. And I get the component text. So I can assign it to level text, which is a text type variable is a text this is a class the ui class okay so now we have set the experience bar and the level text so that then we can update our ui in set experience but how how about these two variables what is game logic so i made a new class which does not extend mono develop if you see here i don't need to extend mono develop i mean mono behavior because i just need a class which will have some static functions and here i'm going to calculate all my formulas for how much hp should we have and how much experience do we need for the next level all those formulas are going to be set here so my first function is called experience for next level and we give it a parameter with our current level. So if the current level is zero, we need no, we will return zero. Okay, so that means the experience for the next level is zero because we assume that the player starts at level one. But in, a, in the other case that the current level is not zero, I'm going to return this formula. This formula, I just got it from somewhere around the internet. I think it works pretty well, which is the current current level times the current level plus the current level plus three, all this times four. You can copy this. This curve starts very easy for the player to level up, but then it starts getting harder and harder uh, through time. So you can input some values in the current level and you will see how much experience you need on each level you can see it by yourself and if you don't like that you think it's too steep or too easy you can always change these values and make your own curve or you can find some rpg leveling curves or formulas on google and try to use them yourself anyways let's go back to player controller so the experience needed is going to be game logic dot experience for next level and we're going to tell this function what is our current level. So it's going to calculate the experience we need to level up. And the previous experience is just the experience that we had until the last level. So when we level up, how much experience did we have at that point? Because this is level minus one. So it's just our previous level. And if the experience Okay, so first, sorry, we set that, we set these two variables. And then we will check if the current experience, so that the experience that we already have after killing the monster, if that experience is greater than the experience needed, we are going to level up, which is just this. But we are going to also update the experience that we need to go to the next level, because we just leveled up. Now we need more experience to keep leveling up. So we're going to set it again to game logic the experience and with the current level, which increased by one since we leveled up. And also we're going to set the previous experience again because for the same reasons, we just level up. So we also need to update this. So if we didn't level up, this never happened. We are going to still run this bit of code here, which is updating the experience bar. And how we do this is, first of all, we find the field transform within the experience bar. We get the component image and we set the field amount to the experience. That means the current experience minus the previous experience. 
that means all the experience that we have earned before this level and the experience needed minus the premium experience and this is because we want the bar fill to always go back to zero and go back to full when it's when it's time for us to level up so that's why we need to minus previous experience okay so basically that's that's pretty straightforward so after i set this experience and i level up everything should be ready to go uh, if you notice i have made some uh, variables like this stats which i plan to use in the in the coming lessons in the coming episodes but right now you don't need to copy it if you don't want it because i i didn't use it actually in this episode so now that we have everything that we have here oh and by the way let me explain this a little bit this means that we can read the amount of experience we have from any other class but if we want to change the actual amount of experience if we want to modify this it has to be from within this class from the inst this instance of this class so we only can do that by calling this function which is set experience here because set experience is public but because it is within this class it allows us to change the experience without getting an error so now that it's done i'm going to just show you again how it works you see i'm going to set this on the box so we can see the player so you see the player has experience here zero and level one and when we kill the enemies uh, let me kill one at a time come here you'll see we'll get some experience once I kill it we got about a half of our experience we're still in level one we have 10 experience in total and let's kill one more when we kill this fella we went up to level two we have 20 experience but our bar looks zero filled because we subtract the previous experience and if we kill a bunch of mummies let's kill them all we probably will go yeah we went up like a level and a half but now you realize that even though i kill two mummies within this level i still don't level up that's because our formula here in game logic is set so that every time we level up is harder for us to get to the next level so if i were to have more mummies let me play some more mummies around the stage let's go find them they should be here at oh, where are they oh here they are so let's kill them you see now i'm going to kill three mummies but even by killing three mummies i didn't level up so that means it's harder for us to get to the next level so basically that's how you make a working experience bar remember that if you have any question you can always ask me in the comments and i really appreciate all of you who still follow this series and watch my videos give like to my videos and so i just want to say thank you guys for watching and sticking up with me and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and i will try my best to help you please remember to like this video and subscribe and i will see you next time Goodbye. Peace. Psh.